Hey, hey, everybody. Hi, how are you doing? It's Rob. Welcome to Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. And today is April 16th, 2024, Tuesday, 9.50 p.m. California time. And I've got a couple other things I want to show you. Um, the other card I was talking about. Uh, but I wanted to give those T212s, the OBAC cards, an extra day to be out there without this video interfering with that got a few things for you folks today this big card that i picked up along with those obex and another huge card for my alan and ginter run and then maybe we'll open like one pack of cards just because i feel like it has been a few days so welcome to old style classics baseball cards if you guys wouldn't mind see that s there go ahead and hit subscribe for me if you wouldn't mind do me a favor liking leaving some comments like leave comments and um <clears throat> we can reach out other people who likes this kind of stuff so um really quick i made a comment to another youtuber and for half century of collecting sports cards uh that i liked his video that he did the other day and um i was asking if his um rc cola can in his video was an andre dawson because he, and he was like yeah cool no it was a vita blue and a johnny bench uh rc cola can so um definitely out there looking want to get me that andre dawson rc cola can that's big on my list so um thank you all right so we're gonna go ahead and get on with it folks so i figure what i should do first let's go ahead and do a little recap those uh obac cards 1910 all right we get my glasses here that's barry from san francisco the distinctive back If anyone wants to see more of any of these cards, let me know. I can pull them out and show them on a video longer. Um, Briggs for Sacramento, PCL. Also 1910. Mize Paper Wrapper card. 1910. Browning for San Francisco. With a little San Francisco skyline there, probably in the background. The just right back. All right, let me take a drink. All right, this one is probably my favorite just because of that uniform. Cameron, Oakland, 1910. Pick these all up at Stevens Creek Sports Cards. Santa Clara, San Jose. And that is a su surpass imagination. Uh, Daily, Los Angeles. A little LA in the background there. Not too much smog. Distinctive back. Beautiful cards. I just love these OBAC cards. And another San Francisco. Muller. Muller. Love that hat. And the uniform. That's super cool. Very T206-ish. -ish. The story in the smoking. Back. And there's the five free cards you gave me because they're in such bad shape. Murphy there on the front. Not going to pull those out. Go back and watch the last video to see those. Now we're going to move to 1911. Victoria. So that's the Northwest League. Northwestern League, I found out. 1911. Beautiful red background on that. The different OBAC design on the back. So tell a little bit about the batter and his averages and stuff like that. All right. 
another 1911 for Los Angeles with that old fashioned writing on his jersey there Abbott I don't know if there's Costello card but Los Angeles for the PCL Pacific Coast League pretty rough back there all right and that leads me into the original 1909 T212 Obax Stovall Stovall misspelled and it's marked and stamped on the back just can barely tell but that's a one but still nice nicely centered I don't know how the mother cards were grade that's the original Obac um, font there if you want to look that up you can all right baseball series selected from Pacific Coast League and they st still spelt baseball two separate words all right folks so that leads me into this is the first for me and um, as you've seen I've picked up an Allen and Ginter original 1887 card some of the Ogden, Ogden cards from like 1908 1909 Colgan disc um, a t206 dot Doc Adkins for Baltimore and then recently when I got this Obac card that same weekend I picked up the um, triple folder Hassan card a um, couple of cubbies on that which was super cool for me and then when I'm um, at the local card shop and he was showing me those loose Obacs that he thought weren't worth the grading he had one of these in there and I've never had one because I'm more of a fan of T206 but I, I like these National League ones and so I picked up my first 1911 T205 there and lucky for me look at that people I picked me up a cub so the only one he had in that little stack just happens to be a cub so that's awesome love the little cub bear there um, all right, don't get me wrong I like the T205s I think they're good looking cards but like most colored cars they show the damage just so they look worse when they're in bad shape but still that's sweet look at the Cubs hat there the little cub bear this would have been in the era where they they were the uniforms that had like the logo to my old style classics baseball cards and that is James T. Shuckard and that's a Hassan so much like the triple folder but this is not a card off of the triple folder this is a Hassan tobacco mini it's got a little mark there it looks like but if you'd like I'll go ahead and pull it out because it's not in great shape and I'm happy to have it loose because I like to feel the cards and know what they're all about so doesn't smell like much maybe a little dusty doesn't quite smell like a library like some of the mother cards I've told you about so that's cool James T. Shuckard so Jass T. Shuckard of the Chicago Nationals so that's a pretty cool card uh, you can see the shape it's in there if you like a little rough but still look at that's pretty nice centering on that and um, my first T205 folks so and it's a Cub so that's even better for me as a Cubs fan um, they won again last night against Arizona and they were losing today and last I checked they were up on them 11 to something like in the seventh inning so Cubs in the playing at the Diamondbacks over there in Arizona and so good luck for my Cubbies I've got some stats on the back of these ones so put that up there if you guys like to read that picked him up from Brooklyn it looks like Let's see if that's coming in clear or not there we go 
So that's pause. So you guys can pause it on your TV or whatever and read that if you like. And baseball series 400 designs, Hassan. Cork tip cigarettes, the Oriental Smoke. Um, factory 648 or 9. First District, New York. Or is that 40? Looks like 49. So, um, the price on that was cheaper than that. Obviously gave me a deal on all these cards and threw in those five free OBAC cards. So, what do you guys think? That's pretty cool. Those were some pretty good Cubs teams back in the 1900s. Early 1900s. So, that's sweet. Compare it to the OBAC. Beautiful cards. Gotta love tobacco minis. If you don't, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm a nostalgic kind of person, so this is right up my alley, what I always would have wanted when I was a kid. I would have never thought I could have picked up an old card like this, more or less a cub. Now, of course, my goal would be to pick up a Ty Cobb, but every day that passes, that's less and less likely to happen unless I win the lottery. All right, so then I know I could probably just do the video on that card alone uh, because it's good enough, but I've been sitting on this eBay for a day because I didn't want to drown out that OBAC video with another video. So this one came in the mail yesterday and I've been uh, chomping at the bit to open it because this is another check off my Allen and Ginter list. And what that means, for those who don't know, Allen and Ginter does so many different things in their sets besides the base cards. You know, metal cards, mini cards, different backs, Brooklyn backs, no numbers wood stained glass metal silk cloth um employee cards uh um, world series cards like really rare stuff uh dna relics presidential pins box loaders box loader autographs box loader postcards all these different things that they do and so my goal is to kind of get at least one card of each kind of special thing that Alan and Ginters has done. And so this is one of the ones that I needed. And I pulled, I won this auction off of eBay for much cheaper than the other one. Well, I guess I gave that part away. Go for. But it was from Canada. So I don't think a lot of people saw this auction so I was able to get this probably for what I would assume this player would be worth mm, probably 45% of what it should have cost. And so, all right, so this is coming from Canada, uh, West Bank, British Columbia. Luke, thank you. And nothing in there. Oh, and today, you know, remember the uh, old style trailer that I got for the HO train set? A little trailer. And then I told you I was asking the lady if they sold any um, of the semis that go would go with it. And she's like, I don't know. And so I was like, okay. Kind of rushing me out of the store. So I went online today and I looked and I found one place that had the old style cab. That would um, work with that so it's an actual old style semi truck to pull that trailer and so I went ahead and ordered it so hopefully in about a week's time we'll be able to show that together all right so the big check off of my Allen and Ginter collection now of course I could get Andre Dawson he's my PC that's what I would go for but I wasn't able to pick that up and usually I end up getting these check off my lists from usually players that didn't make it you know 
didn't become big or went away. Um, but this is actually a pretty good name player that I got for pretty cheap. And so it took a while to get here from Canada, but just up the road, I guess. And that is card 151, Justin Turner on the Red Sox there. So this, my friends, is a 2023 Justin Turner 151 Mini. And so it's not an A&G back, it's not Brooklyn back, it's not a no-number back, it's none of that. But why is this one on my list? Because one of the Allen and Ginter cards that they've been doing the whole time, as far as I know, that I've never been able to get or pull, is one of the wood 101s. So that's a wood green. It's actually like a, you know, slice of some kind of wood veneer or something like that. Hand numbered 101. So it's not just printed to look like wood. It's an actual wood card. So I'm knock on wood. Justin Turner. 2023 Allen and Ginter. So I think I ended up picking this up for like 40 some dollars. So usually a guy like this would be like 120 or you know at least over 100. And so I think with the shipping this came out to under $50. Unbelievable. To pull a 101, go look up the 101s on eBay. And it could be some dude who only made it up for a few months, you know, but got drummed out of the league within you know, months of him coming up, but he was there long enough that he got a card. And those cards go on for like ninety hundred dollars. That's Justin Turner, so he's a popular player, you know, the Red Sox fan base, he got the LA fan base. And so like I say, people, that is a big check off my list. So now instead of having to worry about picking up a wood card, maybe I'll pull one someday. But I don't have to keep searching and searching and searching to pick me up one that's affordable. No, I can just keep my eyes peeled if an Andre Dawson ever comes around. Now, centering is not great on this, but... Um, this one being number one... 158 hey, people it's my wife Hello. hey everybody she's already going to bed and here she pops up and so I don't think she's got to see this so that's my first ever mm -hmm. Allen and Ginter wood card um, and it's a big name player one. Justin Turner didn't you get another yeah recently? yeah I think he's the other big one I picked up too yeah yeah <clears throat> I'll have to look at my stuff. Good night, everybody. Bye, honey. Love you. Love you, too. So, anyways, there you go, folks. That is a big check off my Alan and Ginter list. And uh, let's... Yeah, I believe that she's right. Hold on a second.